Lengthy novels or histories often take many months, and sometimes even years, to write. The process usually involves preliminary research, multiple drafts, and collaborative editing. The Book of Mormon, however, was produced very differently. Between April 7th and June 30th of 1829, Joseph Smith dictated its words to his scribes, mainly Oliver Cowdery. They worked day after day for hours on end without the use of any working notes, reference materials, or substantive revisions. Ongoing research helps confirm that the translation, remarkably, took place during these few months. The most crucial data come from five important events that can be anchored to specific dates by strong historical evidence. These dates help establish the beginning and end of the translation timeline, as well as key events during this short time period. More than a dozen revelations and legal documents recorded during these same months help flesh out the timeline. Many of these passages contain words and phrases that reflect language from the Book of Mormon itself, suggesting that they drew upon what had just been revealed in its pages. While many of these proposed relationships are tentative, these documents help identify dates by which specific passages may have been translated. On its face, the timeline allows 85 possible days for the translation, but we know that on many days Joseph was engaged in other activities. With known disruptions accounted for, John W. Welsh has concluded that only about 60 actual working day equivalents would have been available. Yet some may wonder if translating the entire Book of Mormon in so little time was even possible. Calculations suggest that the range of hours per day and words per minute options are feasible, but the parameters don't allow much variation beyond what's shown in this graph. In order to test these estimates, Welsh and others informally replicated the process of translation as described by the witnesses. The results helped confirm that the translation could indeed have been carried out at a rate of 10 to 20 words per minute, which is needed to fit the proposed available timeline. In light of these experiments and the interlocking historical evidence, readers can trust better than ever before that the Book of Mormon was brought forth to the world in a miraculously short amount of time.